Hello YouTube, this is I Views One or Tom, and today we have another Transformers review. So today, as you can see by the title, this is Animated Blitzwing. Now, before we get into the figure, I would like to say that I didn't watch Animated. Well, I watched the first few episodes, hated it, turned it off. Um, I don't like it at all. I don't know why. I think it's most of the character designs look too unproportional. If you look at both animated and prime, they all have tiny little waists, massive chests, and that annoys me so much that I can't. And also, actually, no, it does have an annoying human, which Transformers should, but uh. That annoys me a lot. But this guy is the only animated figure that I, w I have want, or I wanted. Because he looked good, and he's my second triple changer. Um, yeah, he's the only animated toy that I like the look of. Oh, oh no, RC. Of course, RC. I do not like RC. She still looks all a bit bulky in the wrong places, but she's the only RC that's a car and I need her. If anyone would like to donate her. Nah, I need to find her. But, um, yes, I need to put swing. Here's a jet. And a tank. A robot. Now, most people say that this is a weak mode. I love this mode. I don't. Tracks on a plane look awesome. Yes, this thing is not going to fly, but I probably can pick up quite a few things on my shelf that will not fly either. I don't care, it has wings and jets. It's fine. And tra tank dreads are awesome. And they actually look really good. And there's actual ridge detail. These bits are... They're sculpted to look like it, but they're not painted to look like it, which I think is a bit of a disappointment. I don't think you can see them in robot mode. I don't know. I don't know why they're not painted. I'll have a look when I get into robot mode. Now, for this, you have a few options. Um, oh, underside. Yeah, y you can tell where the legs are. That's sort of it, really. If you know where everything goes, then you can t obviously tell where they are, but... It, just a quick glance at it, you can't tell where the stuff is. There are massive holes here, but this massive hole and that massive hole. Um, but he does it good. So, obviously, he's retaining most of his colours. Although, has a lot of this colour in plain mode, which he didn't used to. It used to be all purple plain. But I think this looks really good. It's not a G1 Blitzwing. But it looks a lot like him. And this is kind of my generation Z type one. Although he's not on my generation shelf. Anyway, you can you can fold the nose cone in if you want, and that still looks quite cool. I like flat nose and stuff, but it does even that. So that's part of the transformation anyway. I will quickly put that over. Here. You can also these click there before you flatten them, so you can do that just to give him a slightly more sleek look. Although well, it doesn't really fit for this, so I like to give him a classic plain look to make it look like he might be able to fly. Um, oh, and if these pop off, don't worry, they pop back on. Because they probably, they might not pop off now, but they will pop off at some point. I said pop off a lot of times in that, and I hope it's not. But anyway, so yes, you fold the nose in. Uh, you want the front just cocked, but you want to leave this bit there, because that bit can fold down too. Leave that there. Oh, you can take you can take the missiles out, and it looks right. But I like the missiles. I don't fire them. I like the way they look. Uh, collapse these, fold them to the back. And then you want to take this whole bit here and unpeg it from these, and bring it up. These bits you just gotta mess around with until these tiny little grey bits that you can't really see there. That bit needs to push back. That's 
quite hard to do, but it makes it a lot easier. And then tab, hole, just straight down. And uh, you guys are like that. These just push down. It'll open the. It'll open the tap, flap. Push those in. And done. Uh, uh, while I'm doing this, I, I actually I liked Blitzwing's character in it, and probably because I liked Blitzwing the toy. And I haven't actually seen Blitzwing in G1 because I haven't got that far. I'm still only in season one. And at the moment I'm buying SH figure arts. I don't really have any spare money to put towards buying series. But I will at the moment figure arts are my priority. I'm trying to get hold of Cyclone Joker. Oh sorry, uh, the wings, you wanna fold them back as far as they'll go. And then they fold down. And then the grey bits just fold on top. And I quite like this. Because that's a bit wide, they make it so that you pull these around to the front and twist them so that the bottom is up. Now, for me, one is really stiff and the other is really loose. I have no idea why. Oh, and these pop off all the time anyway, but they just pop right back on. So, yes. There is his tank load, and it looks awesome. Again, I don't think we'll be seeing tanks like this ever, but it looks awesome. And you get 360 here. Um, you do get four wheels under here, like you're doing the two there. You do very, very cleverly hidden within joints, the right by the side joints there. And he rolls alright, but I don't roll them my own shelf. But he, on the other hand, to tell that he's a plane, there isn't much other than that. But who's going to look under a tank other than Triple X? Um, yeah, if we can jack, I can jack a tank. Whatever, um, it's got wheels of a jacket, I think it's one. But anyway, uh, yeah, it's really cool, and I really like these missiles. These are the only missiles that I keep in. Because if I take them out, nah, he looks alright. He doesn't look anywhere near as imposing as that. Well, I, I like to think of like an action thing from uh, Japanese lines, like figure arts and stuff. Like you know, you get the flaming fist and stuff. So anyway, to turn into robot mode, you wanna just I would like to move those out of the way. Take the legs. And just pull them out. This gives you a lot of clearance. And no, they don't show up in robot mode. Why the hell aren't they painted black? I don't really want to paint it black myself, I'll end up ruining it. But anyway, for the legs, for the feet, sorry, you pull that out. You can, I like to pull the heel out and then just push the foot out. And pull that. Exactly the same. Side. You can already see, you can now see where everything is. So now you've got to unfold that up and untab it and leave it sort of just hanging down there. Next, you want to take, you want to split this bit in half, like that, and just fold each side around to the front, like that. Next, you want to fold the arms down and fold these bits back and then compress them in a little bit. Just sort of move the arms forward a bit. You can't do you can't leave the head reveal to last, so you just wanna push that up. You just wanna push that up. Then there's another tab back here which that just plugs onto. And now for this you might have to pull these little fins that you had at the back of the plane out a bit to get to fit on properly. And finally the head, just turn it around. And there we go. There is Blitzwing. He looks really cool. There isn't 
anything about him that I don't like. He thick, he, you know, that isn't kibble. That is not kibble. That looks awesome. You know, it's a, uh, it just looks cool to have that sort of thing. And also, you do get some uh, things you can choose. You can choose whether you have them like that. People don't like these. I think you can snap them off. You can snap them off. People snap them off. People try and fold them up behind. But I don't. I really like them. I think they look so cool to have behind his arms. Sort of like a cape. But again, you can have them like out, like wings. I like to leave them like that. I think it looks like he's wearing a cape. It looks really cool. Uh, other sort of. Uh, one thing I do like these bits here on his arms. They're like that in robot mode. In uh, the other mode, sorry. But they're spring loaded just to pop out and give his arm a bit of depth, which looks really good. So yeah, he is in his fairly normal colours. Obviously, a bit changed around. Obviously, with black legs. And looks really good. Um, nothing on the back. You know, I don't count these as kibble. I think they look cool. Don't count that as kibble. I think it adds to him. So I do like. You can, if you want to, turn that down, have it as a jetpack, and then again, you can put the wings out, and you go, you're flying, this one. But you can also, if you take them up, I mean, you can have that if that's your preference. Obviously, no, I prefer a thin and slightly taller one. Now, there is, actually no, there is one thing I don't like, the hollow legs, but eh, you, can get, you can get away with it. Um, now he doesn't have any weapons, but he, I don't think he needs them, he blitz wings, he looks awesome. Now, there, he, obviously you can see his face, there's other ones in there, there is a tiny little thing on the back, but it is so hard to turn, so I just turn it by the face. This is the face that I have him displayed as, he looks more like a good blitz wing character scientist type guy and this is because in animated apparently he has some kind of multi personality disorder and he has a face for them this is his like eye sort of face I don't like this for him and that's his crazy face again I don't like that I not that that's how I just play him So, like this, I think he's really cool. I really like this guy. He's the only animated figure I've got, and probably... Well, sorry, there's a wasp in my window. I should stop being hot. This is annoying. Is someone reviewing? I need to test something, sorry. Seems very useful, right? I can see all of the uh, the shields because it's so hot. Sorry, a bit curious. I couldn't leave it. Um, yeah, he's really cool. Again, these just look awesome. You can take them out if you want. I don't know if it's anywhere near as cool. So yes, animated blitzwing. Buy him. He's quite cheap. Um. Wait a minute, I'm lying. I'm lying my head off. He's the second one I own. I own Animated Megatron. Because he looks quite like G1 Megatron. Um, he's the second. The third will be RC. It's the heat. It's yes, like, still hot. And I haven't filled up my drink. Jeans. Buy it. 
and also by the way uh, next review actually I'll just a bit of information for later on my next review will might not probably be not be on Transformers because I've done them for a while I like to go on to some of my other figures as I have tons of other ones I you know just a quick pick up one I've got this guy and I have most of the Marvel Legends Iron Man uh, I've got tons of stuff and also you know that which I finished reading I would probably review that it's pretty good but, uh, and I have the whole of the House of M series to review um, and there's a few other bits and pieces here and there that I would like to review Maybe some movies that I have, because, well, ones that not everyone would have seen, but fit my kind of genre. Someone tell me, what is this that I have? You know, like, Transformers community, or the Transformers reviewing community, and the Tokusatsu, like, you know, Power Rangers, Sentai, Kamen Rider, is that a sh the the fact that I stick to superhero type characters is that a genre or, like do I have a genre or hmm send answers in a postcard um yes uh I have loads of stuff that I'd like to do I can't believe I forgot it's one of my first ever graphic novel and my second is in a drawer somewhere that's amazing and I'm leaving that one as a surprise for my last review of my graphic novels I'm not big into graphic novels this is... I'll make another video for now that's it so I'm going on, I'm signing out